Breaking news, we finally have a cast member from the now forever infamous Blake Lively and Justin Baldoni movie, It Ends With Us, that is speaking on the record about all the drama surrounding these two and the movie. And what this guy says is very telling. Let's get into it. Brandon Sklenner took to social media to share the following, which he shared and turned the comments off. Okay, this is what he has to say. Quote, Hey everyone, I wanted to take a minute and address all this stuff swirling online. Colleen and the women of this cast stand for hope, perseverance, and for women choosing a better life for themselves, vilifying the women who put so much of their heart and soul into making this film because they believe so strongly in its message seems counterproductive and detracts from what this film is about. It is, in fact, the opposite of the point. What may or may not have happened behind the scenes does not and hopefully should not detract from what our intentions were in making this film. It's been disheartening to see the amount of negativity being projected online. That's the first paragraph. And let's get into just this one. Already I can tell this entire thing is gonna be Team Blake Lively. He is picking sides, the gloves are off, and he did not deny everything that happened in the film and in post-production. He, he basically said it happened without saying it happened. What may or may not have happened. Mm-hmm, let's continue. He says, quote, someone very close to me has been struggling with a relationship that has mirrored Lily's closely. I feel a responsibility to bring this to life and help spread that message further. Prior to my involvement in this film, she had not heard of the book. It was only then that she read it. She credits Colleen's book and subsequently this film with saving her life. He's not done. He adds, trust me when I tell you, there isn't a single person involved in the making of this film that was not aware of the responsibility we had in making this. A responsibility to all the women who have experienced generational trauma, domestic abuse, or struggle with looking in the mirror and loving who they see. This movie is a harsh reality check for men who need to get their ish together and take responsibility for themselves and their actions. And he still has more to say. He waited a long time to speak his mind. He says, quote, This film is meant to inspire. It's meant to validate and recognize. It's meant to instill hope. It's meant to build courage and help people feel less alone. Ultimately, it's meant to spread love and awareness. It's not meant to, once again, make the women the bad guy. Let's move beyond that together. All I ask is that before you spread hate on the internet, ask yourself who it's helping. Ask yourself if your opinions are based in any fact or if you simply want to be a part of something. Let's be a part of something better together. A part of a new story being written for women and all people everywhere. Lead with love and please be kind, Brandon. Well, two things Brandon didn't do were mention by name Blake Lively or mention by name Justin Baldoni. And he didn't need to because having read the entire thing and the way he repeated the women of the film. Gosh, the, this statement is really bad for Justin Baldoni, I think. 
from somebody speaking on the record who was a lead in this film. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section.